the Lord said to me this morning, a lot of people are frustrated because they haven't fully surrendered their lives to me. God said that a lot of people struggle in their flesh because a lot of people idolize their bodies. They idolize their flesh. He said when human beings are what they call horny, he said, God said that they will make themselves have an orgasm to please the flesh that they are a slave to. God called people who do this a slave to their own flesh. So when your body tells you this is what you want, you do it for yourself. He said, how wicked and twisted are you? Anytime God comes with a word like this of judgment, it's hard to say out loud because I can hear him talking just in myself and not say anything to anybody. But when I have to say it out loud, it's very harsh. But God said that he's trying to save people from the lake of fire, from burning forever in the lake of fire. And human beings have a time limit. Forever for human beings is the extent of their lives. But God was saying that the lake of fire forever means never ending. And humans can't grasp that amount of time. The time actually doesn't end. There is no saving or rescuing you later. That's why everything that we do on earth, God judges it. Everything that we do on earth, God judges and determines where we end up. We don't get to say in eternity, Lord, I'm sorry. I want to be back with you. We don't get to be here and 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 not do what God says and think we're going to end up with God in the end. It doesn't work that way. But back to this word that he was giving me about masturbation. He was saying that people... He said, when you do this and your flesh tells you what to do constantly, how can you call me Lord? He said, it's impossible to call me Lord. You've made your body Lord. You've made your flesh Lord. When your flesh tells you that you, you know, you want to eat, you know, seven meals a day of things that are so fattening, that are so hard on your body, Things, certain foods are hard and harsh on our bodies for a reason. And God wants us to start paying attention to that. We have to start paying attention to a lot. Because we're in the last days. The end of time as we know it exists is getting ready to end. And if we not careful if people are not careful we really could miss God and this isn't like oh I miss God in a moment no like really miss God in eternity so we really have to be paying attention and God was saying that these people that do these things and masturbate God was saying that these people also have a hard time fasting God said that fasting is not about eating or not eating. God said that fasting is about self-control and surrender. He said that you can find people who do this are still struggling with secret sin. And not like they're hiding it from you, but some of these people think that they're hiding secret sin from God. Because usually where you can find one thing you can find another. You can find people who would rather watch TV than pray. You can find people who will sit um, at a basketball or a football game for three hours and four hours and go through the traffic and go through the parking and go through you know, the lines and all these things for three, four, five hours, but will refuse to give God 30 minutes of uninterrupted prayer. Y'all, don't that sound crazy? And I'm saying it out loud. It sounds crazy. And this is something that God had to deal with my own self about.
that I would, that we as And what God was talking to me about, like he does when I, as soon as I wake up in the morning, I don't know what it is about God talking to me as soon as I wake up in the morning. I don't have time to think, to grab my, my, my notebook beside my bed and a pen, my Bible, nothing. He just start, as soon as I come to consciousness and open my eyes, the Holy Spirit starts talking to me about things. And what's kind of weird, well not weird, but what's interesting and awesome about God is that a lot of the words that he talks to me about now are about judgments. Like, I can't help it. Like, I listen to me. I want to tell people that they're going to get a new car. I want to tell people that they're going to get a new six-figure paying job that they've been praying for for 10 years. I want to tell people that healing is coming by your house. But God is not giving me those words for such a time as this. And because of what I'm called to do, I understand the task at hand. I understand the seriousness of not saying what thus saith the Lord when I want to say something else. And certainly when people want me to say something else. Because God revealed to me a long time ago that these words are not going to be popular. There are other servants of the Most High that people are condemning and saying they're witches and they're this and they're that. And I'm like, Lord... Like, I know by the spirit of the living God that this person is not a witch. I know that a lot of the things that they're saying are hard for people to understand and receive. Well, where are the where are their words of encouragement and admonishment? The encouragement is repent, my God. The encouragement, people of God, is repent and turn away from your sins quickly so that the Lord Jesus Christ does not come upon you like a thief in the night. Encouragement is quickly turn away from these sins and sins of idolatry and sins of fornication and adultery and sins of depression and sins of wickedness so that the Lord Jesus Christ does not come upon you like a thief in the night so that the day of the Lord does not come upon you quickly unaware so that the day of the Lord does not surprise you and you're caught off guard and Jesus says depart from me I never knew you you've been working iniquity the whole time but you thought that you were working for my glory and as I show up this day of the Lord in all of my glory you must depart from my glory because you never served me you never knew me you always served self you always glorified your own flesh you always did what you wanted to do every time you heard me knocking at the door every time you heard me calling on calling your name you ignored you went the other way you listened to every other voice but mine but saith the lord hear the spirit of the living god this morning people of god and even you who are lost, if the Lord Jesus Christ is speaking through you now, through me, listen and hearken to the voice of the living God. The encouragement is that you don't have to burn forever in the lake of fire if you heed the words of the Lord from his servants that he is sending in 2024 because 2025 will be a year like we have never seen before, says the Lord God Almighty. And people of God, you must prepare for the things to come. The things that are coming upon this earth are darkness and gloominess and confusion and judgment. And so that you are not caught unawares and casually walking about becoming a casualty to the things that God Almighty says the Lord shall allow. I am that I am. My God, that is your encouragement. Forget about these things that shall pass away. The house, the car, the, 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 the scholarship, the checking account, the savings account, the 401k, the retirement plan. My God, you cannot take any of these things into glory. The wonderful business that God has allowed you to have, but you have abandoned your prayer altar before him. He ain't seen you since he gave you the loan to get the business. He ain't seen you since he gave you the money to get the trucking company. He ain't seen you since he blessed you with the six-figure job paying $125,000 a year, but you ain't fasted in five. Glory to God. You don't even know what your heavenly language even is. 
but we want a word of encouragement. Time out, people of God, for the foolishness. We ought to be wanting our souls to be saved. We ought to be wanting to be set free and delivered, to be claiming that we love and know Jesus Christ, walking around depressed, walking around beat down and broke down, representing the Lord Jesus Christ. When you are a chosen generation, ye are a royal priesthood. Ye are a chosen people unto your God. But why don't you look like it? No, I'm not talking about on the outside. I'm talking about on the inside. I'm talking about your hearts. I'm talking about why people want so much to mix with the world. Why people so much want to quote scripture and burn sage. Why people want to so much give a word of encouragement from the Bible, throw God in it, and then curse him in the next breath. Why people want so much to quote scriptures and then agree with the with the the um the agenda of Satan. Why we see examples who claim in their bio that they know the Lord God and they love the Lord God and they follow Jesus and they're Jesus followers. But you see them at every industry party with a glass of champagne in their hand or a glass of liquor in their hand talking about I know and I love the Lord Jesus Christ. And next thing you know, they smoking hookah at the hookah lounge. People of God come out from among them in the name of Jesus, says the Lord God. <clears throat> Come out from among them. And not only do you come out, but you be ye separate. Some of you have come out from among them, but you have not separated yourself, says the Lord. There must be a difference in what you look like, says the Lord. Inside your heart. I'm not talking about all of God's people going to be driving Rolls Royces and living in seven bedroom homes. No, I'm talking about they have the blood of, they have the Holy Spirit on the inside of them. I'm saying that there's a difference in the way they respond than the way that the sinner responds. There's a difference in the way that the people of God respond and the way the witch responds. There's a difference in the, the conversations between two believers and followers of Jesus Christ and then two people who are mixed into the new age occultism. There's a difference between the ones who are actually full of the Holy Ghost and led by him at all times and the ones who are trying to mix, trying to deceive the people of God. They call themselves prophet and prophetess, but they always throwing jabs at other prophets of God. People of God, we need to be better be paying attention in these last days. Things are coming upon this earth that we cannot even imagine if we tried. We're just mere human beings. But God said that there is safety in knowing him. When God is our counselor, we will be in safety, in his safety in the days and things to come. And the only ones who are going to be afraid are the ones who don't know the Lord Jesus. The only ones who are going to be terrified and, and, and unawares and caught off guard are the ones who don't know and follow the Lord Jesus Christ. 